And it is in times of tragedy that we often see the best in humanity. Additional rescue crews are coming in to help every day. ABC Action News reporter McKenna King tells us what state leaders who are there on the ground are saying about this effort. It's the largest deployment of urban search and rescue the state of Florida has ever seen non-hurricane. Typically, you have a Cat 5 hurricane, I have a Hurricane Michael. We would assemble all those forces together. This is the greatest you know, effort that's ever been put together by Florida non-hurricane. Around 370 search and rescue members on the ground sifting through rubble. Now an international effort with rescuers from Israel arriving to help. There's a lot of people to thank after this is all over. There, there are a couple uh, female dog handlers who spent countless hours of straight at the scene trying to uh, to search the bodies of their dogs. And I was at the end of a very long shift, and I was like, thank you for your service. And she's like, could you pet my dog? He, he, he needs you. And I'm like, I would love to pet your dog. Miami Senator Jason Pizzo sharing a video of rescuers entering through gaps in the rubble as they search for survivors. These men and women, brave men and women, share the frustrations of the families. They would like to be able to do more, to show more, to, to, to make it go faster, to have superhuman strength and lift large pieces of things and find, uh, find people alive. Neither the families nor the rescuers are giving up hope that they might find even just one person still alive. With Haiti, there was eight days in the rubble where uh, an individual was found alive and well, so I do have hope. The teams, including members from the Tampa Bay area, split in half to work in rotating 12-hour shifts. The next crew set to go in at midnight. McKenna King, ABC Action News.